back to my channel. Like always, I'm How To Tech Tips, and I hope you enjoy my videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share any of my videos. If you have any requests, please comment in the comment section below, or you can even email me. My email is in the description below. Let's just say that you bought a Logitech wireless mouse and keyboard combo. And on the box, obviously, it would say, you know, Bluetooth compatible, but for whatever reason, your Bluetooth is just not, you know, connecting to your computer or it's showing on your computer that it's there, but it's just having a hard time connecting. It has happened to me actually a few times and it can get very frustrating and annoying. But this is actually a pretty simple fix. So there's two things that you will actually have to do. So the first thing is in the box, there is a little USB tab. Tab, I don't, it's not really a USB tab, it's just like a USB, you would plug it into your computer, just like a little receiver. And right now I'll show you guys a picture of it. And basically that would just let the keyboard and mouse communicate to that receiver, which would end up being able to connect to your computer. But in order to do that, we're gonna have to download something. So let's open a browser up. Okay, so we would open up the browser of our choice. I'm just gonna pick Microsoft Edge for now. And then from here, we will go to google.ca. And from here, we're going to go Logitech Options. Also, I should mention, it's very easy to miss the little USB receiver that's in the box. It sometimes might fall to the bottom of the box. So just make sure that you do end up getting it. So after the Logitech, um, you search that, then you would go to the first one, Logitech Options. And then we would download this right here I have actually almost threw one out one of those USB receivers but luckily I ended up remembering that they do end up falling to the bottom of the box sometimes and it's not a big box it's pretty thin so it's very easy to locate Alright, so we're going to open it now. And this is what we'll see. And then we would install Logitech Options. I just write no thanks for that. I don't want to share any of my data. And now we would just wait. And while we're waiting, I just wanted to remind you guys to check out any of my other videos. And as well as if you guys have any requests, please let me know. I'm pretty open on trying any kind of troubleshooting or any cool tech that you guys think I should uh, look into, I would be more than happy to do that. Oh, 
Okay. So here it tells us to log in or create account. We don't have to, you can just hit X. And then here, this is what you'll see is that you can't detect any devices. So we would add a, let's go back. Let's add a device. And then here you would see that it was unifying receiver. And you would hit add. And then from there, it would tell you to turn off the mouse and then turn it back on. There are just instructions there. You'll see, tell you to turn it off, turn it on, and then it'll hook up to the mouse. And then you'll have to do the same thing. You would have to add another. So the add device will be down here. You would hit add device. Mine's up here though. And then you would do the same thing, add device, and then you would turn off the keyboard and turn it back on and it should all connect back. Like it, all of this should connect. And then there, there's all, you know, there's other options as well. Like you can see the battery life, which is very handy. And you would just be able to just navigate around that and, see what works for you all right if you guys have any questions then comment below but for now thanks for watching i'm how to tech tips keep teching on